Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign, KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. I got some snail mail here. Um, this is from KE5NHU, Lee uh, Derwatcher. And uh, he says he saw my episode 391, which is quite some time ago. Uh, the subject is, what am I tuning when I tune my antenna tuner? Uh, the short answer to that is you're tuning the combination of the transmission line, the antenna, and your environment. Okay, all of that is being tuned when you do that. Now, um, he said that he bought an external tuner for some antennas that he has, um, and he found he didn't need it, that the tuner would tune it directly. Now, let's look at the specs for the tuner. These are found in section 11 on antenna tuner operation. And if we zoom in on that, and we see in section 11 about the internal antenna tuner, it can tune a range of 16.7 to 150 ohms, SWR or uh, of less than three to one. Now, this is only measured in resistance. It is possible, for example, that you might have a, uh, a uh, impedance on your antenna of 50 ohms resistive plus 50 ohms reactive, uh, which should probably be a pretty uh, capacitive antenna, too short. Uh, and it might still tune that, okay? So what he's saying is that it will tune outside its specs. Now, I have no way of creating artificial loads other than my 50 ohm load, so I can't really test the how far out this can go. I need to create such a load. But in the meantime, the point being that the specification for the radio, the ICOM 7300, which is the reference station radio, as you can see at decastler.com slash reference, where I have a reference station all set up with all the components, and the 7300 is the reference station radio. Um, you will find that the tuner will do probably a little bit better uh, than that. And the tuner may reach out to tune it and only be able to tune it to 1.5 to 1 SWR, and then it will let that go. All of that may be true, but the specification for the radio is 3 to 1 or below. Now, uh, you might try your radio with the antenna to see if it will tune it before you go out and get an external tuner. Now, a couple of reminders. If you are using an external tuner, do not use the internal tuner. They will fight each other, okay? Uh, you'd think, yeah, well, one can get me close and the other can get me closer. No, it doesn't work that way. One tuner, either external or internal, but not both, and uh, then get your antenna up and going. Now, external tuners will commonly tune up to uh, 10 to 1 SWR. Please understand that a 10 to 1 SWR, your feed line is extremely inefficient, and you're going to end up heating your feed line with the circulating currents uh, in the... Um, uh, What is it? The, um, in the tank circuit uh, made by the antenna tuners, reactive components, plus the reactive components in the antenna with the feed line acting as a relay between the two. So there you have it. Uh, the radio, a lot of modern radios will do three to one, and they may do slightly better than that, but the slightly better than that is not guaranteed performance. So. Just wanted to let you know and answer this question. Until we next meet, 73.